What's up, everybody? April 15th, 2024 in beautiful Big Bear Lake, California. And this is the aftermath. And this could be the final aftermath for some time to come, you guys. It's really not much to show you guys. The only kind of different thing about this right now is we're in my new car, the car that I never drive because I'm trying to keep the mileage down. But yeah, we're in the new the new beast. My 2023 Outback Touring XT. This is how many miles we've got on it. 7,415. I've had it for a year and a half. All those miles were done in the first six months during last year's major snowstorms that we got. But yeah, welcome to the channel, you guys. We're just going to do a drive around the lake. Um, right now, the temperature outside is 45 degrees. It's probably going to get a little bit warmer than that today as well. Um, there's really not yeah, much to show for what happened last night, but that's the whole point of the aftermath is so you guys can see. I'm excited to see what it looks like over by the dam, though. I think that'll be cool because they might have a little bit remaining from what we had yesterday. And I hope you guys are having a great day. Hope everything's going well for you guys. I'm getting a little bit late start on this because uh, I, had, I took my other car, the car that I'm always driving, in to get new, new tires put on. And then I bring my snow tires that are on it right now back to the house and put, put them in storage until next season. I think I got another season or two out of them, so we'll see. I sure hope so. Because they are not cheap. Not at all. Yeah, this is a the beautiful village, guys. The beautiful, beautiful village. With no snow. Go ahead and cross. Jeez, smile a little bit. Golly. I had to take the bus this morning for the first time since I worked at Bear Mountain. Uh, from where I got my or where I dropped off my other car and the driver knows the channel and he has a channel an off-roading channel that he's I was his fourth subscriber he's got five videos and it looks like he goes to pretty cool spots up here so we're gonna get together this summer and he's gonna take me for some some off-road adventures for you guys so I'm excited about that his name's Eddie. Again, he drives one of our transit buses up here. Seemed like a really, really neat guy. Man, I forgot how great this car is, man. It's so smooth. And the pickup, because it, it's got a turbo, is so, so fast. It's a, it's, a, it's a great car. I should probably drive it more, because I'm paying an arm and a leg for it, but... That's something I'm gambling with, is trying to keep the mileage way down. So in the next year or so, if I decide to try and sell it, Hopefully I'll at least get enough to pay off the car. I don't want to be upside down, and I figure that the best way is to keep the mileage super, super low. And then drive the heck out of my, my, my other car until I can't drive anymore. Until the thing just won't drive. That's my goal. 
Yeah, this is an absolutely gorgeous little car. It's the Outback Touring XT. I mean, just way, way, way better than my other Subaru in terms of like the uh, the luxury and the added security and safety measures. Even the suspension on this is way different. Like everything, it really feels like a super luxury car. I dig it. I dig it. But those of you, I'm, I am trying to sell my, my other Subaru though. So if anyone's interested in that, I think between like 14 and 15 grand is where I'm, I'm going to be selling it out, which is about a thousand less than the lowest I saw for uh, private party sale on uh, Auto Trader. So I'm trying to start it at a very low price just to get rid of it so I don't have to deal with waiting and waiting and waiting. It's got 103,000 miles. Um, let's see here. It's been in one accident. It was just cosmetic damage. It was fixed at Yukaipa Auto. Um, it was just, you know, the front end, but none of the drivetrain or anything like that had any damage. So it was just cosmetic damage. Got it all fixed. Though there's no salvage title. It was just a, a fix. And uh, yeah, everything's good with it. it runs runs like a champ as you know I just spent 900 bucks to put on brand new tires so if someone would pick the car up tomorrow you'd have brand new tires and I'll give you the snow tires which should last you a few more snowy seasons as well free of charge it's lifted it's got a three thousand dollar train horn system on there which I know I'm probably the only one who gets excited about stuff like that um, it's got an upgraded braking system. Let's see. There's something else that I'm not remembering. Yeah, it's 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 a good little car. The thing's a champ, as you guys have seen over the years. I got it in December of 2018. It's a 2019 Subaru. So we've had it five and a half years. Yeah, we're getting into the snowiest part of Big Bear Valley. This is over by the Big Bear Dam, Papoose Bay, and these neighborhoods which are coming up. If you want to be in the snowiest part of the valley, try to find an, an Airbnb over here. These are much bigger, more expensive homes than most of the town, so you're gonna be paying a, a, a quite a bit more, but it's the snowiest part of the entire valley over here. Keep in mind, Upper Moon Ridge gets as much snow and more snow, so, but it's a higher elevation sitting right against the mountain. But when it comes to the 6,750 foot elevation, this is the snowiest part of this entire valley. And don't forget, we do have a nice Airbnb in in Middle Moon Ridge, next to Bear Mountain. If you have any questions about that, everything's in the description of this video. And again, if any questions, don't hesitate to send me questions about it. And uh, if you tell the owner, Jay, that you're a friend of the channel. He'll take care of you guys. He's such a cool dude. He's the one who does all my commercials and promos and the merchandise and everything. He does it all. So he's had a huge impact on this channel. The guy's just the nicest, sweetest guy in the world. The guy's a rocket scientist, guys. That's his day job. He's in 
an aerospace engineer. And, <laughs> and he's young. He's in his 20s. The guy's just a brainiac. And his passion is photography and videography and stuff. So when he's not building rockets and whatnot, he's, uh, he, he loves doing the photography stuff. And I'm really glad that he, he sought me out. Speaking of which, if you guys do want to support the channel, go to BigBearWeatherAndMore.com. We would appreciate it. I've been seeing some of the gear being worn up here, and it's pretty remarkable. It's a really incredible feeling to see you guys wearing the stuff up here. Every time I, I see it, I sneak up on the person and, and surprise them. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool. But anyway, we're, we're here at the Big Bear Dam. One more little plug, and we're getting close to the end of the season at Snow Summit. If you want to rent your skis or, or, or snowboards, you got to go to Get Boards on Big Bear Boulevard. They are the most friendly most knowledgeable and care the most staff up here. Um, they don't pay me anything to promote them. I do it because they have a great reputation and I want you guys to be safe and have the best services possible while you're up here. If you mention I sent you, they'll take care of you. And if you mention, or and if you bring in your own skis and your own snowboards, they will wax it for free if you mention you're a friend of the channel. So keep that in mind. Now let's just go for a cruise. Kind of a weak aftermath, but that's okay. Again, there's nothing, nothing on the radio, on the radar. I was gonna say on the, on the radio, but there's nothing on the radar. We've got some really warm temperatures. We're gonna be hitting the mid to upper 60s a couple times in this next two weeks. Sometimes our low temperatures are gonna be above 40 degrees, but we do have a few nights in the next two weeks where we're gonna get down to about 30. But starting tomorrow, it's, it's gonna be significantly warmer. And I think I've said all I need to say for right now. I know a lot of you say that you, you like my commentary. And I appreciate that, but I think since this is one of the last aftermath videos we'll be doing all season, I'm just going to shut up for a while and just let's drive and enjoy this beauty and serenity of the drive. It's not as serene while I'm talking, so. keeping my eyes on the road jeez maybe because I'm holding the camera in front of my face it thinks that I'm not looking at the road yeah this thing has incredible safety features and I can push this button right here and then I don't have to steer it'll steer for me and I can 
cruise control it at the same same time and then it'll speed up and slow down kind of like a tesla does and i i learned that one year after owning this thing that it has that capability i had no idea it was a really nice surprise actually we got the sunroof in here a whole bunch of different cameras yeah it's great it's great it's a great car one of my favorite views would be from this house right here. Look at that. Imagine waking up to that every day. Isn't it lovely? We are in fawn skin, folks. Let's, there's no one behind us, so let's take a look at this tributary. See how much it's flowing right now. It's definitely flowing. Keep on flowing, baby. Keep on flowing. Put that water in the lake where it belongs. San Gorgonio in the background up there guys look at how incredibly beautiful that is that is so beautiful you know what I, I never zoom in on it I think when we get around to one of the next nice views I think I'm gonna zoom in for you guys because it, it really is something special there's so much snow up there I told you guys many, many years ago, Walt Disney was in cahoots with the county or someone about putting a ski resort up there. That would have been pretty epic. I, again, there's no one behind us. Uh, no, that's not the best view through there. We're going to have to find a better view. so much snow up there Thanks, mom and today I'll start sending you money for all the car payments and motorcycle payments all right I love you I'll talk to you later can you send me what my portion of the new car insurance is gonna cost thank you
driving through the fawn skin area. We're almost out. We are almost out of here. I'm kind of excited to get some of this weather out of here because uh, my, my driveway stays muddy and just nasty for quite a while after the storms. So I'm looking forward to it drying up because then I can start doing a lot more work at my house. I hate having to constantly put on my snow boots. I just want to put on some sandals or something just super easy and do some work outside, you know? Take a bunch of stuff from the inside, put it in the shed and stuff like that. So definitely looking forward to that. But I'm not looking forward to missing you guys. That's never fun. But don't worry, we'll be doing some summertime videos. We'll be doing hiking and stuff on, on the Harley and uh, cruising on the lake and maybe even some, some fishing videos. So it's just not going to be as frequent. Obviously, we're not going to do the whole entire town for this aftermath. We're just doing a drive around the lake because, uh, you know, if you're not seeing any snow over here, there's no snow on, on that other side of town. So kind of pointless. Waste of gas, even though I'm enjoying driving this car because I never do. Snow Summit, absolutely beautiful. All right, sweet. That's a nice little trailer. It'd be nice to have something like that. Seeing, seeing that. Man. you guys that was pretty lackluster wasn't it pretty darn lackluster but it's an absolutely gorgeous day hardly any cloud in the sky I mean, we really do live in such a beautiful place.
the lake level I, I think is just below five feet of being full I gotta double check that so don't quote me on it but I think that's what I remember hearing just from a couple days ago Yeah, thanks again guys it's been a fun season i love you guys i appreciate everything we've had a good time together um please do me a favor hit that like and subscribe button share these videos and uh yeah as i said we'll be doing some summertime stuff so stay tuned um i i have a feeling we'll have a couple more times where i'll be able to record some snow so uh let's keep our fingers crossed about that but yeah thank you guys again for everything it's been real it's been awesome and Hope you all have a great, great rest of your week and just keep kicking butt and taking names out there. You guys are a real blessing in my life. I'll never take you for granted and I will always do the best I can for you guys. Until next time, folks. I love you guys.